Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to the Did You Eat Yet podcast. Nice to see you. It's nice to be back again. Yeah, this will be our fourth episode. Mm-hmm. Um, last week, we had a lot of fun recording uh, our personality results. Yep. Um, I really enjoyed that conversation. It yeah. was long, but it was, I don't know, I feel like insightful. It was. I mean, I think I learned a lot about myself and about yeah. you and vice versa. Yeah. If any of you guys haven't seen that video yet, we'll put a we'll put a link down in the description and up in the video itself if you want to click that and watch this after you've watched this video. Yeah. Um but this week's topic, we're talking about what we would do if we won the lottery. Yes. Um the yeah, um, I want to set some rules, I think, before we get into the talk. Rules? Yeah. What kind so of we rules? keep them standardized. So I'm thinking we keep it, we have a specific amount. So not like just vague, like, oh, oh I won the lottery. Like, what amount of money do we win? Oh, And I okay. think like a typical Powerball, like $250 million. That's still a lot. It's like, it is. <laughs> it's a very huge amount. But it's not like, I can't like, I'm going to buy a country. Yeah. Like, there's no like, I want like an X dollar amount on it. So that okay. way you can actually like. So Look at that. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. Two hundred and fifty million dollars uh each. So like this isn't what we would do if we were right. the lottery. This as is as a couple. It's yeah. It's if we were as an individual person yeah. disregarding the relationship entirely. Yeah. What would we do with that money personally? Yeah. At the end we can talk about what Ma- we could do if you together, like, put yeah. them together if you want. I think a lot of our stuff will probably kinda mix anyway. Yeah. So yeah. I know you have a lot of ideas. Yeah. Um, you have more like concrete ideas than I do, I think. Mm. Mine are more like abstract. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if you want to get started with maybe one or two of your ideas and then. Yeah, I'll get started. I think before we get started, we should just, it is YouTube. So why don't we ask everybody to mm, yeah. drop a like on the video. Um, and subscribe. subscribe. Subscribe to our channel, please. Uh, we're really trying to hit that thousand subscriber mark. Yeah. Uh, that's when the YouTube affiliate program opens up and we really want to get this podcast kind of taken off the ground. Yeah. And if we want to do that, we have to start somewhere. So we chose to start on YouTube. So if you guys could just like, subscribe uh, to our channel, uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and yep. then be sure to share these videos with people you know who may be interested in topics we're talking about. Yeah. We have a lot of fun topics coming up after this week, which we can discuss later. but. Yeah. Uh, we have no plans of slowing down anytime soon. No, this was fun. Yeah. I enjoy it. <laughs> All right. So back to it. Um, $250 million, Austin. Yeah, $250 million. Do? What would I do? Well, I think my first step is probably the same as you and most people I know is the first thing I would do is pay off my student loans. Yeah. Yes. I, I made the smart choice, arguably smart choice. Uh, I advocate for everybody to do something similar, similar to what I did, but you know, actually have a plan going into it. If they choose to go to college. Um, Start a community college. I mean, I have saved a ridiculous amount of money. I have cut my loan, like my overall school loan, probably in half from what most people that graduated from a four-year program who did it in four years from our school was probably owes double what I owe. Yeah. That, and I took six years to finish my program. Yeah. I changed my major three times in community college and then transferred in. Well, gen eds are just so much cheaper, Mm -hmm. but especially if anything like this is still happening, like advice to anybody enrolling, enrolling in classes for this coming semester. If you're coming in late, stay home, save money on um, rent or room and board. Yeah. Save money on your classes and go to community college. If you can, if you're able to, if you can, if, if any of those classes are offered. Um, But the first thing I would do is pay yeah. off my student loans. I mean, without a doubt, it's smart choice. <laughs> it's the heaviest burden on me yeah. right now as far as like What's our only go. like real debt? I mean, I have a car. Oh. I'm still paying oh, yeah, off a lot true. of my car. I forgot about your car. Um, that's my next one. Is yeah. The second thing I would do is pay off my car loan as well. Yeah. I still owe 
like 18,000 on my car. Yeah. Um, which is a lot. Yeah. I got a new car because I was like, you know, I want this car to last me a while. It's investing. It is. I wanted it's to a good invest. Car. I wanted to invest in the future. I mean, I've always driven nicer cars. Even my first car for being a 95 was yeah. in really good condition. It was. And then the G6. Yeah. Because I got it in 2011, probably. And it was 2007 at the time. Yeah. Like that so was wasn't very with like 30,000 miles. That was like yeah a crazy deal. And then getting this car with one owner in less than 30,000 miles. Yeah. Uh, it being a 2018 deal. But I feel like when people think about winning the lottery, they they think about like all these like extreme like answers of what they would do, like yeah. all these houses and stuff. And it's yeah. like I know paying off student loans isn't the most exciting. No, but, but it's I mean that it's the first yeah, thing. It's it's without a doubt the first thing I would do is just yeah. take care of it because it's just so much. It's such a burden. And yeah. like I said, I don't owe as much as a lot of other people that I know. But it's still, still, it's still a burden. It's still like not right now because of everything being stalled. But it's yeah. still almost four hundred dollars a month, just yeah. just in student loan payments, yeah. and that's for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be pushed back at least a year after all of this, too. Yep. I mean, but hopefully, I mean, yeah, that's that's where I would start. Yeah. Just get rid of my debt. I would pay off any other debts I have, so credit card bills, personal loans, things yeah. like that. I would just get rid of all of my debt. Um, so I can start fresh that way. Any money that I have from that point is just mine. I don't have to worry about any of it. Cause mm -hmm. one of the biggest things, uh, about saving money right now is I'm always like, yeah, I have this much saved, but when you subtract it from how much I owe, I still owe, <laughs> you still owe so much. <laughs> my, my total net worth is still in the negative. Yeah. Um, so that's where I would start. Those are the first, the first things I would do is yeah. I would get that check, put it in the bank and immediately pay off my loans. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, I don't think mine's much different. Yeah. I, I, I don't have a car loan, um, but I do have student debt, and yeah. I have more than you. Yeah, because you, went, you went to a four-year school yes. right away, yep. and you did, you completed a master's degree in that program, too. Yes. So and your master's degree costs the, the same, same as your as my undergrad, undergrad. Yeah. and I completed that in a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, I'm a little screwed when it comes to <laughs> to debt yeah but with 250 million that's it's yeah that would be nothing yeah um so i would absolutely do that first mm -hmm. what other plans would you invest in or i think that's i think that's where the fun starts i mean i like i have a business degree so i understand the investing world a little bit yeah i'm not interested in like stocks and stuff like that like yeah. it's not i'm not gonna put a couple million into stocks and like hope that it goes up i have no faith in the stock market to begin with so yeah. putting my money there but what i would invest in from that point forward is probably myself mm -hmm. and like my personal goals mm -hmm. i mean i've had a dream and a goal of opening an aquatic facility for years like you know that i've yeah. been working on plans and like what would i do what kind of water park would i open what kind of pool would i have like yeah. what who would train my lifeguards what technology would i introduce what new things could we do and where yeah what what could we do what could i do with a couple million of dollars and like i would put aside a solid like 50 million of that yeah for this project and that's a lot for a smaller water park but i would want obviously to be state-of-the-art i mean there's there's new state-of-the-art like surveillance programs that are out there yeah with my last job you knew i was a part of yeah um that i would want to kind of work with and try to introduce into a system like that. I would want state of the art slides and pump rooms. I mean, I would want the top of the line stuff. Yeah, I don't I, think people the the average person really knows how much these things cost. Mm -hmm. They cost millions of dollars. Yeah, I mean, even our, just for like a simple pool with like yeah. a couple slides. Yeah. I mean, cuz the pool itself is just a hole with some concrete. Yeah. Um the money doesn't really come from the pool. No. I mean, you ca the money comes when you design a pump room to handle that much mm -hmm. gallonage and actually be able to filter that much water. Um and the state of the art stuff. So my job in Colorado, it was a new build. Yeah. So and it was a new build and it was gonna be like the hotel. That yeah. was their plan. It's like this is like we're the largest hotel in Colorado. We're right there by the airport. Like yeah. we want this to be it was gonna thing. be. Yeah. So our pump rooms in theory were like top notch state of the art, everything you have. Um we had the single best it's it's up for like it you get you decide what you want is right. best, but in terms of like 
general consensus we had the best filters on the market yeah um the pumps were all specifically designed and then we had uv treatment as well so for layman who's just listening to this like i don't know what you're talking about yeah basically um pool water gets filtered through most people in there like home pools will have some sort of sand or like um screen filter Mm -hmm. that you have to like pull out and spray off and put back in our filters uh there were what's called de filters um you can look it up if you want Mm -hmm. for you guys who are listening don't i'm not gonna go too deep into it basically it's a powder that's so fine that it can catch things like as small as you can think of like Mm -hmm. the smallest viruses and bacteria get filtered out and then throwing a uv filter on top of that it kills everything. Right. So the water that comes out is as clean as you can get. This is all a long story for I would put the best <laughs> stuff I could find on the market into this facility. And it would cost a lot of money. It would cost a lot of money. Like yeah. I'd want you to understand. But it'd be uh, like a, a like a community investment. Like yeah. somewhere kids and you know, families can go to or when they can we, drop their kids yeah. off. And when we look at locations and what I actually want to do with it, I would want it to be in an area that doesn't have something like this. Yeah. I don't want to put it in an area that has 12 pools. Like yeah. think about home. There's the city has how many pools by itself. And then yeah, our water tons. park where we worked plus the competition, which is all a couple miles away. Realistically. Yeah. Um, put it somewhere where within, I mean, within it's worth investing. two hours you can get to any basically 15 amusement parks from where yeah. we were. So I'd want to put it somewhere where there's not that much aquatic facility stuff. Or if it's limited, like think about where we lived in Colorado. Like where you yeah. lived, there's a community association. Yeah, there's a couple. But they're kind of like, they're expensive for one. And they're expensive and you have to live in, in the, the community. community. Yeah, so you, you have to be a resident yeah. in order to, to go and there. And it's, it's those, especially... I mean, where I did my lifeguard training at that one, it's really, I mean, it's, it's intense because it's when you think like upscale, like fitness community center, it's yeah. what it feels like in there. Yeah. And you walk in, you're like, I definitely don't belong in here. <laughs> and no matter who you are, I feel like everybody walks in the yeah. first time is like, there's, there's the, the golf, like yep. the simulated golf room. Yeah. It's but, kind of crazy. Um, so put it somewhere where they don't have stuff like that. Yeah. They don't have those options and kind of open it for the community. I would love community programs, like community swimming lessons. And yeah. I would want to invest a lot of that money into that program so it's not costly for the learners, the swimmers, the students. Right. They can come in and it's kind of covered by the community or covered by local sponsors. Um, and that money would allow me to do things like work with sponsorships, like put giant billboards places, yeah. like be able to work with the community that's that would be the ultimate goal of this place is not the next big crazy water park with all these right. crazy slides i would want it to be a nice family yeah place i've worked at the crazy water park yeah i that's where we started yeah and on certain days my park now is like that not necessarily the most family yeah. friendly and then i think about my job in georgia where that's what it was it was small quaint yeah. it had everything you wanted there it was family family owned uh, the bank bought it but yeah at one point it was owned by just a guy and that's the kind of feel i'd want to go for somewhere where you can go and just kind of be somewhere outside having fun yeah. in the pool um your like classic traditional community pool feel yeah without what comes with community pools which yeah. is like you know a lot of people and like not a lot of things to do. It's like you go there, you swim, there's a snack bar that probably has bagged chips and like nachos that have been sitting for three days and that's about it. Yeah. Like I would want options. I would want to be like a nice community area. Yeah. All the amenities of a big water park. And a smaller. Like a small yeah. like setting. Yeah. That'd be a nice thing. And that's that's do. where the next biggest chunk of my money would go. Yeah. Is opening something like that. It's a big chunk too. Yeah. It costs a lot of money. Yeah, it's where most of it would go. Yeah. And it, like I said, when I talked in the beginning, it's all about investing. This, I, would, I see it as an investment. Because yeah, definitely. Eventually, yes, I would like to make a profit on it at some point. Right. And like spending a couple million dollars, it takes you quite a bit of time yeah. as a startup to start making profit. Yeah. But I see it as like an actual legitimate investment yeah. with that money, not just like... Well, I think it's cool because it's a project. It's an idea that you're passionate about. And I feel like when most people say... Oh, what would I do if I won the lottery? Oh, I, you know, buy I'm gonna a buy cars. a Ferrari. And I'm yeah, gonna, I buy a huge you know, buy mansion. A big house and... I'd buy houses everywhere. Like, yeah. And for you, like, 
the idea of a project that's fulfilling to you and also could potentially help a local community, I think is a good idea. Yeah, like and the a good, dream. Good use of your money, truly. The dream would be sell my belongings, mm -hmm. buy a really cool RV, yeah. and just park it on the property because yeah. I own <laughs> and it. And live there. And live there. <laughs> like like put the put the park by like a lake. Yeah. And like park it by the lake. Yeah. And then like walk to work or like ride my bike to work. That'd be nice. Like don't worry about a house because you can get an RV that's. When you close the door, you wouldn't even be able to tell it's an RV. Yeah. I've seen those. That's true. There's like a HGTV show or something like that about RVs. Yeah. Or a tiny home. Tiny home. You yeah. know I love tiny homes. Yeah. They're like all the rage right now. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I guess that's the fourth thing I'd spend my money on is like a home, but like a tiny home. Yeah. I think when I think about home, I think I would want to buy a home with money that I won from a lottery, but I don't want anything truly massive or like yeah. expansive just because. I feel like it's a lot of upkeep. I mean, if you win the lottery, you can pay people to upkeep it for I you, can, but... yes, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Yeah. I, I would rather have the space I want mm -hmm. and the space I need with the things, you know, I obviously would buy things that I want, but yeah. I don't want it that big. Yeah. I mean, I just, me too. Like, There's just, no use no. for me, honestly. No. We I mean, don't have enough stuff to fill our current Realistically, place. after I pay off my student loans, mm -hmm. I... This is kind of going to sound opposite of what I just said, but I would want a farm. Yeah. I, the house doesn't have to be big. Yeah. But I would want a lot of land because I want animals. Mm -hmm. I want cows. I want pigs. I want goats. Chickens. I want chickens. And those are all, and horses, they're all very expensive. And chickens. Except for chickens. Chickens aren't really that expensive. Probably ducks too. Yeah. Some ducks, definitely. But animals some are geese. expensive to, no geese. Continue. No geese. We'll see. No. Geese. Okay. This is your turn, so you can go. Thank you. Animals I'll are expensive. Oh, my God. <laughs> to keep up with. Yeah. And they cost a lot to feed and to mm -hmm. take care of. And, and then a veterinary cost on yeah. farm animals is more expensive than Well, most of the domestic. vets come to you, and yeah. that's a price. And then if anything's wrong with them, that's a fee, mm -hmm. and that's going to be way more expensive than your dog or cat. Yeah. Um, but realistically, I would really love to have a farm. Yeah. And just have a bunch of animals to take care of and, like, live off the land. Yeah. And, I don't know. Just, I, I really want cows, man. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I like, <laughs> but um, not yeah. for any use, necessarily. Not for, like, yeah, just milking. A domestic or cow eating. to take care of. Yeah. I could never eat the cow that I'm, like, taking care of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was vegetarian for, like, I don't know, a long time. Yeah. I mean, so, if I think about I meat you, you too were, much. And it was... You were for a little bit into our, yeah. we started talking, so. Yeah, but that's what I would do. And yeah. then I think I would also, like, probably buy, I don't know, a house or a condo or something in, the, like, the, the really cool places that I, I've either traveled to or want to travel to. Yeah. Um, like, I would, I would want a home in Colorado yeah. that we could also, like, rent out mm -hmm. and make it, like, an Airbnb or something. But I would love to be up by, like, Rocky Mountain National Park. It's beautiful up there. Yeah. And have, like, a cabin or something. It doesn't have to be anything huge. But it is. Tiny home. A tiny home. But it would be expensive regardless. Yeah. That I mean, the lane's is, expensive. Yeah. It's not really the houses and areas like that. It's about location. Yeah. But if you've ever been up there. I mean, they have Rocky. It's they have so beautiful. They have townhomes the size of our place, which are in the millions. Yeah. Outside the park because where you are. Well, the view is. Yeah. Worth it. It's so. And the know. lake there is really cool. Yeah. Um, Item number five, I would buy like a bunch of kayaks and jet skis and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Outdoor things. Yeah. I would definitely want like outdoorsy yeah. items that definitely, I think right now, are way out of our budget. <laughs> yeah, like four-wheelers, <laughs> yeah. jet skis, yeah. kayaks, canoes, hiking yeah. equipment, camping equipment. Yeah. I mean, I guess that brings us to like... Our combined stuff, because I think we kind of both talked around it, but none of our stuff is really at ends with each other. No. And that, like, makes sense. Like, yeah, we would, let's say we won $250 million. Like, yeah. you and I. Like, we bought a lot of tickets today. We won it, and we decided to, like, use it as a couple. Yeah. Um, our priorities may get shifted a little bit. So, like, I think we would both still do our student loans. Yes. I would still pay off my car. Oh, and I... 
I would want to pay off my family's debt as well. I didn't mention that. But. Yeah. So like that's and that's what I wanted to get into is yeah. um, we would do all of like the us stuff. Like we would do like you could get a new car. I could pay off my car. Yeah. We could both pay off our student loans. Yeah. We could buy a bunch of tiny homes at a bunch of locations. We could open that water park. But there is still, a, I mean, it's $250 million. There's it's still going to be a chunk money. of money left over. Yeah. Um, something I've always said is my immediate family. So yeah. uh, basically my mom, my dad, my sister, they'd all get a million bucks. Yeah. You know, just be like, here's a million bucks. Plus probably more for like my sister to pay off her student loans because right. her program is very expensive and just like help them out, you know, give them what they need. Yeah. And that's just like, that's just a million bucks in cash is what I would do. Like, yeah. I would never be like, oh, that's it. You get a million dollars and we're done now. Like, <laughs> I would cut want off. <laughs> things like, like if we're buying a bunch of homes in a bunch of places. Yeah. Like maybe some for them, you know, something like that. Yeah. Like if we have a home in a ranch in Colorado, go use it. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't say you're not allowed to no. go to I the would homes want it, that we I would want to make it possible for my family to like not work if they don't want to. Yeah. You know? Because I still have two hundred million dollars yeah. after the water park, so yeah, it's a lot. And like you said, the same thing. Like you would. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think most of my immediate family members have some sort of debt. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, my dad should be retiring soon, yeah. and he's not going to. Mm -hmm. So it'd be nice for him, me to give him some money so that way he he could he can pay off everything he owes and he can retire and have yeah. a good chunk of money to sit on. Mm -hmm. Um. Same with my mom. Yeah. I don't I don't know if she has like student loans necessarily, but I'm sure she has debt. Yeah. I mean She's she owns a home, so yeah. pay that off. Same with my brother, same mm -hmm. with my sister. Um, and then yeah, same thing. Just give them a, a bunch of money to do whatever they want with. Yeah. I think one thing we haven't mentioned that everybody we know would be super mad at us if we didn't spend money on. What? It's like a wedding. Oh, I'm like, not doing that. Spend money to get well, to get married. Oh. Like, spend money to do something like that. Mm, I would spend money on a honeymoon. Well, that's what I mean. Like, the, <laughs> the the process. Not necessarily spend money on a big wedding. I mean, if it's, like, a big wedding and we hire, like, a planner to just be, like, do it all, like, I don't care then. I guess. But, like, yeah. I mean, you know, we both want a small wedding. Yeah. But, like, some of that money would have to go towards that process. Yeah. Like, one of the big things that sell us back for this many years is like we don't know where we're gonna be in six months so yeah it's not the right time like because we're not i mean realistically we're not settled right where we are no so it's still a weird time to like do that but if we won 250 million dollars we could settle tomorrow yeah i guess i just i don't know i see weddings as it this is my personal opinion mm -hmm. don't come for me anybody i see weddings as a waste of money yeah i our wedding yeah. Any wedding, anybody who's having a wedding, um, please don't <laughs> remove it from the invite list. We love weddings. Yeah, we love going to weddings, please. <laughs> but in terms of like my personal views and beliefs, yeah. even if I had that much money, yeah. I just think it's still a waste of money mm -hmm. because it's, well, it's we a could, day. I mean, we could throw a really cool party for yeah. that much money. Yeah, I would love to like... At our ranch in Colorado, or tiny <laughs> ranch. I wonder yeah. if they do that, like tiny ranches. I would want like ranch land... A tiny home on the ranch land. That's kind of what I was talking about with yeah. my farm. I don't want necessarily want a big house. I just want a lot of land. Yeah. Tiny home. Tiny home. <laughs> and a really big barn. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, yeah, you need a barn. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, they're not what I would invest my money into. Yeah. I understand why people do. I understand it's a very special day. Yeah. But for me, personally. Well, both of us. We both yeah. kind of don't see the point. No. I would, our, I us, would want to take that money situation. and travel. And see things and go to all the countries that I want to go to and learn about different cultures and meet a bunch of people. Yeah. And I think that's more like what I meant is like, yeah, we would obviously like we would get married. Like yeah. that would be if we could But both, that doesn't cost a lot of money. Yeah. And then we would the process, which is involves the honeymoon as well. Right. We could take an extended honeymoon and not worry about like, oh, what about rent? What about this? What about that? We don't have like we have. Yeah. We can just do it. We can be gone for a year. Yeah. You know? It'd be nice traveling. to like travel for like a year yeah. and just go different places mm -hmm. for a couple weeks. Yeah. See things. Yeah. Spend some time. So I think. Meet people. If we had to break it down so far, it's we would both pay off our student debt. Yes. Any other debt we have. Yes. You could get a car. Yes. Because I have a new car. It's your turn. Yes. Um, <laughs> we would give money to our family. Mm hmm We would travel and see the world. Mm hmm I would open up 
an aquatic facility. Mm-hmm. Farm. And a farm. And tiny homes. Tiny and homes and places. <laughs> yeah. And I think like that that would all that's all make sense for us. Yeah. Like that's kind of where we're at. I mean, for like plans. I mean, I've thought about this a lot. Yeah. Not like a lot. Like not like. Well, again, you have a more concrete idea yeah. of what to do with that money, and that is a lot of money. Because I've yeah, because I've had this plan for a while, and I've always thought about like funding it, and like and who obviously to talk to, and do I want to go? Well, yeah, I think I have a lot of organizations I would donate to. Yeah. I. I mean, I'm an educator, so mm. I would definitely invest in I would want to set kids. up, what I think we could do is set up a fund. So yeah. we put money into a fund, yeah. and then that fund can keep growing, getting donated to. I wouldn't necessarily take like $100 million and give it to an organization or a bunch of organizations. Right, yeah. We can put a fund in our name. Think about like foundations and stuff like that. I, but I want it to actually do something, because all the Well, that's why the, the fund would I feel be good, because like... we can decide where that money, what yeah. the money, what happens with I feel money. like you have like your name on something, but doesn't necessarily mean you're doing anything yeah you know Mm -hmm. i and i definitely want to like give money back to to kids and communities Mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah and i think that a lot of that would come too with the water park is like that's part of the idea is like it is kind of a giving back yeah type of facility where like free swim lessons free things like that it's something that i would want like swimming lessons brought to you by whatever like it can be by our foundation that we set up or it can be by a local sponsor or a global sponsor or something like that yeah yeah, I'd want to I would want to give back in some way shape or form. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like maybe maybe even our answers for how we would choose to spend our money if mm-hmm. we won the lottery could change in Yeah. 5 to 10 years just like our personality Definitely. results because our priorities I mean, will change. Yeah. Like our personal priorities. Like if I already start like if in that point I start my project yeah. and like I have a facility opening up either then or soon. Because, I mean, by then I'll be almost 40. Yeah. If we're, if they say, 10 years, I'll be in my mid to late 30s. And hopefully by then I have something, at least in the works. Yeah. Then our priorities will definitely be different. Yeah. You know, if we already have that there, it's not going to be like, oh, i got to pay off my car and loans and stuff. So Yeah. I, w- I would like to hear anybody who's listening um, what you would do with 250 yeah. million dollars like what are three things yeah you would do or spend your money on invest your time in mm-hmm. if you had that much money yeah. and um you know do you think that's changed too like yeah. have you ever thought about yeah, what like you would when do I was, with when I was the a, money when i was a kid i like yeah can't tell you my I mean, video games candy my, my answers are probably a lot of legos like, yeah. oh yeah like, definitely yeah. but but like if you're maybe in your 50s or 60s yeah. like what would you spend your money on yeah I like, would if like you're to close know. to retiring, if you have a fund, yeah. like, where is that money going for you? Yeah. If you're like us and you're broke, like, <laughs> where is that money going for you? Because here's the thing. We both went to a state school. Yeah. Like, we saved a lot of money. There are people I know that went to, like, some of the private Philly schools. Yeah. They probably owe three, four times as much as you do yeah. with just a bachelor's degree. Yeah. So, obviously, their whole thing is going to be, their outlook is going to be different. Right. On this. Obviously, most of our friends would probably say... Well, student loans first. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, and like, there's no shame in like saying you would invest it in like a cool car. No, I mean, it's your money. You do what you want with it. If you want to buy 50 Ferraris, go for it. Go for it. (laughs) I mean, electric's the way of the future, but yeah, sure. Buy some combustion engines. That's fine. (laughs) But yeah, I mean, if you guys want to just leave us a comment either here on Facebook or anything and just like she said, three things you would spend your money on. Yeah. The top three. So, like, our top three choices were student loans, the water park. Yeah, your project. And... Houses and places. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to know. Yeah. So, if you guys want to just drop a comment uh, in there and just let us know what you would do, we'd appreciate it. We'd also appreciate it if you could like the video, share mm-hmm. the video, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we're really working for that. We're, we're quite a ways off, but we're really working for <laughs> that thousand subscribers. Yeah. Um. Because the more, the more subscribers we have, the more stuff we have, the more we can bring to the podcast. Yeah. Uh, the more time we can have to prepare. And we uh, can distribute it to other platforms, too, as we get yeah. more viewers yeah. and listeners. Um, so, yeah, follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Instagram. As um, always, let us know what you want to hear on the podcast. Yep, yep, yep. Stop by our Twitch channel. You can talk to us live there. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, yeah, I mean. Got anything else you want to add? Mm, I don't think so. All right. Well, I think we're good. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next week. See ya.